This video is all about performance, as I check out the performance of the BYD SEAL Performance. I've reviewed the SEAL before, but my main goal here is to experience the claimed 0-100 in 3.8 seconds. They love that so much they put that on the back of the car. Key features of the performance include all-wheel drive, an 83 kilowatt hour battery, a claimed driving range of 520 kilometers, 390 kilowatts of power, 670 newton meters of torque, curb weight 2185 kgs, 19 inch wheels, 400 liter boot. So, 0 to 100, let's go. Whoa! Yeah, that's pretty impressive. That's impressive. Woo! You wouldn't want to be doing that too often. Um, but that was in sport. You got three driving modes. Eco normal sport. I launched that in sport. A um, bit of an adrenaline rush. I think there's some G's action. But that was well worth it. One other little thing, you, you do spend a lot of time on that, they, you know, emphasize the 0 to 100, but it's really more, in a practical day-to-day -day sense, it's more just um, getting into the gaps on your normal outing, such as at a roundabout. One thing you do actually have to be careful of is like, in say a petrol car, you need a bit more time, but in this you can find the gap a lot quicker, and you've actually got to be wary of the other cars around you, not expecting you to actually make that gap. This sedan has been out for a little while now over the air update action has taken place and that's addressed several points which includes I think bings and bongs some of the traffic handling I'll put a link up here to a video by ludicrous feed Tesla Tom who now also owns a BYD seal and he gives a full in-depth point of view video on driving his seal with the over the air update it's got a double suspension wise double wishbone front wheel drive rear wheel drive is multi-link so i've got my three modes i've gone into since i'm focusing on performance i'm in sport just had a beep what's that mean handling i'm feeling planted on the road all-wheel drive I like one thing though is if this car has um, the sedan does have a heads-up display but I can't see it because I am quite upright in my seat I guess and I'm just seeing the bottom of it if I do this I can see it, it says 66 K's 80 K zone up here nothing yes no summing up on the BYD seal performance Key features, I think, are A, that acceleration, wow. B, it's still a comfortable car to be driving in for a long drive. I'm very comfortable in my seat. And thirdly, I just like, I like the styling of it as well, the exterior styling. So I think the car looks really good from both the outside and inside. Thanks for watching this video. Big thanks to BYD in Tauranga for letting me borrow the BYD Seal Performance to review. I'll put the link in the description below. To find out more about the BYD Seal, check out this video. It compares the three models of the Seal. And a like and subscribe to the channel would be awesome as I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers.